Okay, so I got good news and I got bad news. Bad news is we have to go back to Eternal Prison. I'm not done with it. Good news is we don't have to see that skull or lava room anymore. I'm going back to La Milana too. I went back to the Valhalla. I actually forgot to save again because I was just upset about how my day was going in hell. But Mobra kind of chickened out at the Blood Corridor, so I need to go ahead and check up on her. I hope she didn't hang up archaeology for good, seeing how bloody the corridor was. So Eternal Prison was terrible. I think Malbrook has something for us that'll make it a little bit less terrible. That sounds like a good thing. She's done. She's not exploring anymore. She went by Phobos and got some information instead, so now she's going to be our archaeology intern in another way. She has these! Anti-slip boots! Snowshoes! Thanks, Mulbrook. Well, I, I hope you cleaned them. Well, we got non-stinky snowshoes, which means we could do some things in the Shrine of the Frost Giants. I'm gonna have to go the long way, though. Ah, uh, I forgot. It's a front side area. We should check up on Zelpud, too, but I'm just gonna let him languish a little bit while longer. Now that we got the snowshoes, we can't slide on snow. Also, we could run on snow using the Gale Fibula. Well, actually, we could run on snow. It's ice that was the problem. And we got L Ball guys here, too, now. I want to go on this ladder. I want to go on this elevator right here. I want on this one. Thank you. Because there is uh, one other way that we could get into the other area that we wanted to get into. It actually it was a reference before on a tablet. This area is not quite a column. So that makes it easier. Actually, our... yeah, we're supposed to go this way. Never mind. I was about to say, aren't we not supposed to go this way? We're going the right way. I'm heading to the top area. We got things to do here now. I mean, we already unfrozen the Burgomir. By accident, of course. But this area is completely covered with ice, and it'll be difficult to run on. Also, we got mashers, which we would have to run past. Now we're able to run past the mashers. Also, there are trap floors. You could probably get away with it if you know where the trap floors are and you try jumping for it, but I wouldn't risk it. You would get mashed. And that opens up the hidden shop. The shop has been here for a while. Also, I like the, the touch of the skeleton dude falling down through one of the trap floors, just to tell you, hey, they exist. It's Heidlit! I think he's a One Punch Man reference. I'm not quite sure on this one. But look, he has the Chaos Stones. The, the, yeah, the, yeah, the Chaos Stones, so we don't copyright infringe. Get some weights, and get Ganesha's Talisman. So I'm almost completely broke, but Ganesha's Talisman was good for one thing. Also, I wanted to mess with Heidlit. Don't tell me what to do! He'd probably kill you with one punch, Lamiza. I wouldn't mess with that guy. And here's some Zelpud. He wants to talk to us for a change. So Lamiza ignored the uh, request, and now he's with Shorn for some reason. They're both archaeologists. But they kind of compete against each other. Lamiza doesn't like losing, if we remember this from the first game. Lamiza showed up to La Milan in the first place because he didn't want to lose to Shorn. So you know, this is a weird-ass family. They're competing with Lamiza now in their own special way. So, we got Ganesha's Talisman. That is a treasure. That allows us to hold more gold. Actually, we could hold 9999 gold now. Basically a bigger wallet. We're gonna need that if we're gonna get by, like, the harp, or the Anga Musica, and stuff like that. Also, there's one other item we're really gonna need that costs over a thousand gold. But, I don't have a lot of gold right now. So, I'm thinking maybe I should have zero gold. Now you're thinking, how the heck are you going to have zero gold? That's not possible, you've got 39. There's nothing that costs 39 in this game. 
That's where this guy comes in. Shen Nong could take your cash, or your weights, or a kick in the... you know where. So, okay, take my cash. All 39 of it. I hope you don't spend it all in one place. He's gonna go to bar Bargain Ducks. So that was Shenong. He's in place for some spe very, very specific reasons. He's an Anunnaki. We just gave our gold to the evil guys. So he's been insane. He's crazy for gold and weights. Also Chimera experiments. Ah, oh, wasn't there something? We oh yeah, we could look at, um, where is it? Trying the Frost Giants. You could look at Hydlet. Hey, he was a Locopala. He didn't seem too evil, though. He's always moving, though. It must be really cold where he is. And then he does some kind of training. Don't know what that's all about. Anyway, we got zero gold. Why do I have zero gold? Well, I'm going back to hell, for one thing. That's right. Uh, I, I don't relish it, but we have to. And I want to pick up exactly one coin. Just one coin. Somewhere along the way, just one coin. I'm not going to break any pots. They're usually like 10 or 30. Just one coin. That wasn't a one coin. You guys are shaming me now. There's a one coin. Um, I think silver's a two coins. I don't want to touch that. I only wanted the gold coin, really. Ah, there we go. One coin. Now, I am forbidding myself from picking up any more gold until I get somewhere. So that means no wrecking pots for me. I'm going to have to resist my archaeological urges. Four, five, and jump. Ah, I did it a little bit too soon. I, would, I didn't want to land with a thud. Because it just takes a while. It takes a few seconds. Welcome to Eternal Prison Doom, yet again. This time we're not slipping on ice. And I got one coin. Zero, 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 one coin. And we got this thingy here. We got moons. Five moons. Now, if I remember correctly, moon means money. And there was five places we saw a particular thing. I'll leave you to guess on that. Don't wreck the pots. Don't break the pots. Armor choke mode. Don't break pots. I forbid you from breaking pots. Stop doing that at me, you stupid Medusa wannabe. I'm trying to suck my soul. I want to check that thing out, but what I'm doing is going to allow us to explore all of this a lot later. I really don't want to risk picking up any gold, so I'm just going to beeline to where I need to go. And then we'll just play it by ear from there. Also Lava. Lava hurts. Also Lucifer. He hurts too. Nope. Mess with the trickster. That's a smashy wall. You can tell by the skeletons there. Gotta run past that. Yeah, that would have smashed us. It would have smashed us real good. Do some gear changing. Well, I wanted to do some gear changing. Ah, I don't want to smash pots. Pretty sure there's something in this room, too. I don't have a map for this area yet. There is a map for it. Fun fact, we can't teleport out of this area. Yeah, our, our grail is disabled. Cannot use. Got some lava down there and one of those gates. But this gate is glowing red. Which means I could go through it and go somewhere else in the Eternal Prison. It's not the proper gate that we're supposed to go through, even though it takes one of my items away. There's a tablet talking about that, but I'm not really bothering with the tablets, am I? Eurydice was turned to stone for breaking the code. I think that was like a Greek mythology. Some guy went to the underworld in Greece and he made a deal that he could get his wife back to life as long as he doesn't look at her until they got out. But right as soon as he got to the entrance, he turned around to make sure and she turned to stone. But anyway, Song of Paradise is needed for her. Get I know these things. These are the... They're not the Sentimani. What were they called? Hecaton Kier. Yeah. That's the guy. Sentamani was something much, much bigger. This is an Olympian monster. It's made out of people. Now it loader leaders around in the underworld. There's lots of Sentamani, uh, Hecaton Chier all over the place. 
I learned how to pronounce that name. No! Gold! I broke a pot! <sighs> now I'm gonna have to find a way out. There's a reason why I didn't want to pick up any gold. And it has to do with the boatsman. And now I can't do that because I picked up gold. So now I'm gonna have to find a way out and get back to the spot. Ah, there's pots everywhere. Okay, we're safe. I would have been safe there. I got greedy, though. Luckily, I got double jump yet. Alright. Maybe if I break all the pots that would be in my way and take the gold and just give it to that guy, that would be a lot more helpful. Also, sliding down that slope, probably less helpful. Ah! That jump is harder than it looks because I don't have the grapple claw anymore. Something is taking away my items in this place. Oh, look. One coin. Yeah, that would just put me back a few rooms. That jump is harder than it looks. And all the pots respawn, too. They might have one coin in them, just like randomly. So I have to be extra careful. But you stop at the slidey slope. I hate the slidey slope. There we go. That's what I wanted to have happen. Out of my way. Avnis, you have a dumb name. He's constantly on fire. He's dumb. Everything about him is dumb. So, there's another pot that I don't want to break. The last gate to hell is endured several eras. Hell made it, so it's going to look a little bit differently. You have to look for an unadorned gate, and that'll take you to hell. Yeah, it's been taking things from me the entire time I've been here. But this gate is blue, which means I can leave. So now I'm going to have to go back to Ancient Chaos, dump my gold off again. I'll probably have to heal in the meantime, and then I'll get back to somewhere about that room that I just left in. See you a little bit later. Right, finally made it back. Good news is that we are so close to what I want to do. I'm not taking that coin. That's a cursed coin from a cursed place. It knows my weaknesses. So this area... Uh, I can check out the tablet, at least. It's going to be important later. Uh-uh. No, you do not. Uh-uh. You are totally not doing that to me again. Make those coins vanish. I have a treasure fairy. I don't care. All I have to tell myself is I don't need to break that pot. I have a treasure fairy. You know what? This Aaron, yes, is getting on my nerves. Ah, yes! The Trickster and Mod Good! So you could revive your brother if you cry for him. But the Trickster did not. And Hermod's brother did not return. So I bet Hermod is not very happy about that. Sigil! Also, Hecaton Kier wanted to give me a hug. No thank you. It's the map of this area. The terrible accursed map of Eternal Prison Gloom. The other side. There's a gate just to our left. It's a soul gate. Five souls, and also skeleton dude. Hi, how are you doing today? It's Karen! He looks like an Olympian. He looks like he used to have wings and an elongated skull. One gold across the river. If you have more than one gold, he says... I don't deal with the rich, and he leaves you alone. There's tablets to tell you about it, there's a dude that tells you about it in the Hall of Malice, but it's doing things that I don't want to do right now, so I'm skipping all this, I'm giving him the gold. We're gonna cross the River Styx. Just keep very close to the guy, he knows what he's doing. What? That- you stopped. Okay, what? You retiring? Well, at least, um... Yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. And we got Karen data. He just had it hanging out right next to him. Let's learn more about Karen. Also, um... Yeah, the three-headed monster thing I've been killing. They have long tongues and their mouths attack you. Don't attack them from the back. They will attack you. 
Karen, minion of the underworld. Everyone knows about Karen. Even though he is a Gigas and not an Olympian. So he's a ferryman and a watcher. He cut off his own wings. Well, he knew they didn't belong on a human body. He's an okay guy. Now I don't need to worry about gold. Not for the rest of the game. This is entirely what I did this for. Is this Grail Point? The souls of the dead gather here. The prison of gloom. That's the front side of Eternal Prison. Now I can harvest gold again! <sighs> I feel good. Hey, there's a green gate down here. That's what the green gate all about. That's what I said about attacking that thing from the back. Mott's Feather. You need the Dark Star Lord's footprints. The last step is inverted. That's a hint. I'm gonna keep that with me. I kind of need Mott's Feather soon. It's for the... 7th or 8th boss, depending on which order you're taking them in. Oh, the, the eyes changed red. So the gates do change. I've been hearing about this, but i never really seen it happen until now. The gates will change colors. Um, I kind of wanted to go back to green. I was going to show something off. Can you do that for me, gate? Huh? Oh, yeah, you've got a funky symbol there. That, that's cool and all. Ah, good, you're green again. Thank you. Hi! Do, do I know you? Do I know you? You look familiar. Um, I'm gonna have to hurt you now? Oh! So, uh, doppelganger, I see. It's a fake Lumiza! It's a doppelganger! I wonder if doppelgangers have weaknesses. It does, but I don't have it yet. Also, I think I see a signal down there. Do you see it too, fake Lamiza? I knew it. Well, uh, let's go both through this door. What's the worst that could happen? You can teleport to the Ice Fire Treetops! So that was Doppelganger, I hope you enjoyed her. There was a reference to her in uh, Takamagahara Shrine. Had a really, really long name. Might as well stop in on an honor here. She went to the Underworld. I talked to uh, Modgood before, after I talked to her, so this is information. Nettie the Gatekeeper. Sounds like somebody we should meet in the Underworld. She's back in the, the Doom section of it. But at least we got the Gloom Grail point now, which is going to make things a lot easier for me when I go back there. Because I really don't want to do anything else there. Especially since I have no gold now. That's how Eternal Prison gets you. It takes away all of your gold. Because you need to use the Karen. Eventually. At least once. Well, actually, he's good to go for, like, the rest of the game now. He'll just hang out there. He's retired. We have a world open to us, full of gold. Oh, there is, uh, one more wheel. We did see the wheel in Eternal Prison that um, had a pot on it, like a common Dalu water pot. But we haven't been able to check its age. There's also something back here. Yeah, you might wonder how we got here to begin with. This is the very beginning of the game. Back behind Elder Zopud's house. See, this is where we all started. Now, there's something here. Do you see it? Kind of looks like one of those, uh, ah, I, I forgot what they're called now. Those Ages wheels, like we saw in Divine Fortress and Eternal Prison. Note it has something snake-like on it, like right in the middle, right there. That looks like prayer beads to me. So we'll never know the age of prayer beads because it's broken. Elder Zelda broke it during one of his wild parties. So that was interesting. Um... Maybe we should just faff about and get some things done. Some things I've been leaving behind. In Valhalla. Like, uh, there was a glossary that I've left behind. Because I didn't have a weapon that attacked down well enough. And also, more corn is here. I think this gets triggered after you get so far in the Eternal Prison. Like I did. By activating carry. But there's something hanging out of the wall over here. Also, I didn't know there's enemies that appear in this room now, like the flying dude. 
and uh, the core. The bats and the skeleton are okay though. Best way to do this: rolling ske rolling shurikens. You could break the wall with rolling shurikens or spears, or even the katana would do. This entire time, Vuku Kui Kui's data was right there, and I couldn't reach it because all I had was knife. And no, somebody asked me, I'm not going for all the glossary. I am going to try and find all the glossaries that are hidden, like this one. But he's made out of gold and silver, and he's bird and insect-like. He has two sons. We killed them. Also, what's your story? He's a speedrunner! He tried to phase through walls, and then he died. Lama Lana 2 does not abide by that. Although this is more data down here. We could have used the Caltrops on this, really. But I didn't think of using Caltrops at the time. But there's more data right here in the water. Ultra Rare Neber data! Give me that data! Yep, she runs a shop in the village, and she gets upset. Yeah, what is that thing now? I thought it was a baby. What is it? Is it like an extension of her being? Probably explains why you get so happy when she gets angry. Maybe it's some kind of parasite. Now I kind of want to steal it off her. That just increased my interest. So what else could I do today? Ah... Uh... No, I can't do that in Eternal Prison. That requires money. Can't do that either. That requires money. I'm gonna have to farm up a lot of money now that I have the Ganesh Talisman. There's something I could do in the Immortal Battlefield, but that requires tablets in the Eternal Prison. So, guess where we're going next time? We're going back to Eternal Prison. We're gonna explore that thing properly now. I did all of this just for a Grail Point and some data. Yeah, sometimes you just have to take a few lumps. Good night, folks.